Well, a blessed and Merry Christmas to all of you, and I hope your Christmas celebration was filled with joy. And here we are now, right after the celebration of Christmas, celebrating some beautiful feast days. And today's feast day is the Feast of the Holy Innocents, those children who were the very first martyrs uh, of, the, of, of Christendom. And so we now listen to the Gospel reading comes to us from the Gospel of Matthew. When the Magi had departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Rise, take the child and his mother, flee to Egypt, and stay there until I tell you. Herod is going to search for the child to destroy him. Joseph rose and took the child and his mother by night and departed for Egypt. He stayed there until the death of Herod, that what the Lord had said through the prophet might be fulfilled. Out of Egypt I called my son. When Herod realized that he had been deceived by the Magi, he became furious. He ordered the massacre of all the boys in Bethlehem and its vicinity two years old and under in accordance with the time he had ascertained from the Magi. Then was fulfilled what had been said to Jeremiah the prophet. A voice was heard in Ramah, sobbing in loud lamentation, Rachel weeping for her children, and she would not be consoled since they were no more. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It's amazing that in the midst of Christmas joy, that we hear this particular story of the murder of innocent children because of the jealousy of a king. And King Herod, in his own jealousy, seeing a contender to the throne and having heard about this newborn king from the astrologers, the magi who had checked into Jerusalem to see where the birth of the newborn would be, having followed the rising of his star from the east. And of course, Herod himself is deeply disturbed by this news and wants to take care of this situation immediately. And so when he himself cannot find out the location of the baby because the Magi were redirected not to go and visit Herod after having given their gifts to the newborn king. Herod is furious. And so he murders, he has, he orders the murder of all of these innocent children. And of course, we're drawn to understand in this terrible tragedy the very, very heart of the matter, jealousy, jealousy. I mean, God loved Herod very much. God favored Herod very much. God blessed Herod with many gifts. He had everything that he could ever want or imagine in his life. He lived in a palace. He had servants. He was respected by the Romans when they had come in and gave him a certain amount of freedom and sovereignty to rule over Israel. He had everything he could possibly want in life. He wanted for nothing. And so the insanity is why should one be jealous when one has everything? Why should one be jealous when one has everything? When one doesn't want to share power or prestige, when one is such a narcissist in their power that they can't let go of the possibility of someone else sharing that power or prestige, it's insane. When one won't let go, when one needs to be the center, it's insanity. It's insanity. 
and the destruction that flows from jealousy, the destruction that flows from this particular jealous ruler will be remembered for centuries later, memorialized in this particular uh, feast day. But it's so easy to point at anyone's jealousy. I do it oftentimes. I look at this particular person and say, why should they be so jealous? Look how God has blessed them. Why should this one be so jealous? God has blessed them. And yet I don't look at the jealousy in my own heart at times. And I think at the very, very root of that jealousy is that feeling of privation, which is such a lie. And as soon as I say the word lie, we know where lies come from. They come from the father of lies. The jealous person was not born jealous. No more than an evil person is born evil. A lie enters the heart through the father of lies. Someone is going to be more favored than you. Someone is getting attention more than you. Somebody is being thanked more than you. Somebody is being acknowledged more than you. And that feeling of privation, a feeling that someone else is getting more than what I deserve, after all, I've worked hard to maintain this particular position in my life, why should they get the praise? Why should they get the acknowledgement? Why should they have the uh, be center stage? How sad, because I've listened to the liar. I've listened to the liar. And look what the liar has done. The destruction of innocence. My friends, we may not have the murderous intent of King Herod, but in our jealousy, we may murder the reputation of others. In our jealousy of others, we may find any opportunity we have to tear them down, to speak badly of them, to spread stories about them, to even, in fact, try to minimize them. We ourselves can be instruments of the father of lies by spreading our own lies, falsehoods, calumny about others so that I can rise in esteem and they can have less esteem. I can rise in, in being important and they could be less important. I know in my life it's so easy for me to look at Herod as an evil man, where I could look at any leader who clings to such power and prestige as being evil, but the evil is in me. When I put others down, when I gossip about others, when I feel deprived. And meanwhile, God has loved me so much. That's the mystery of, of Christmas itself. I've been overwhelmed with presents and gifts, not the material ones, although I was very blessed with some good material things, thank God. But I'm talking about the graces I received over, these, over this Christmas, which was so different. I was, my spirits were lifted high this Christmas, even though it was a, such a different celebration for me. And yet, I go right back to that spirit of privation and start my own murderous way of behaving, murdering the reputation of others for no reason whatsoever, except that somehow or another, I feel threatened, I feel diminished, I feel less. And it's in that moment we crush the head of the evil one and his lies and crush his head before it's too late. My friends, as we enter into this celebration of these holy innocents, may we ourselves be aware of the work of the liar, the father of lies, that we may truly be members of God's holy family, exulting in the gifts God has given us. 
Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. God bless you and have a beautiful day.